Here we are at Phoenix Raceway, the end of the United Rentals 500. Dominic Aragon, Jonathan Bale here with the RacingExperts.com. Jonathan, another overtime finish here on the West Coast to wrap up the West Coast swing. Another overtime finish, and of course we have William Byron back in Victor Lane, car 24, ahead of his teammate Kyle Larson. Muscled by him because he saw some close racing there at the end. It's fun to watch. A lot of fun to watch. Josh Berry, too, also a standout with Hendrick Motorsports. He picked up some history here. He did, and you know, it's always a high honor when you get some compliments from Jeff Gordon, of all people, and that's what he got. Josh Berry was noted for how he ran today. He ran a really good race, really clean race. Even made Gordon a little nervous running three and four wide, but it paid off because he moved from 13 to 10th in overtime. As the light flops were winding down, we saw a different leader, but not a different winner. Just yeah. like last week, Kevin Harvick leading a bunch of laps. What happened there? You, you know, Harvick had a really good car on the long runs, and you could tell they worked more and more and more on the car as the race progressed. He even said post-race, he said, with a, a, a sly smile like Kevin Harvick does, we knew we were going to be good when this package was announced, and he was good. Took the lead from Kyle Larson, kind of got caught out on some of the strategies, but Harvick didn't even say he got caught out. He said it was a perfect strategy, still ended up fit. Though. Harvick looked good. But Hendrick Motorsports looking a lot better. Hendrick looks like his team to be. We'll see what comes if there's any penalties announced in the coming days on the Lures. Hendrick Motorsports and their outlook over the next few weeks. Yeah, Hendrick Motorsports looks really good. You know, we head to Atlanta next week where everything is going to kind of be thrown up in the air and tossed back down. Then you head to Coda, and you have the wild card factor of Jordan Taylor being in that number nine car. You have guys like Kyle Larson, Alex Bowman, William Byron. I think eight of them are good on the road courses. They'll be interesting to watch. Also, too, I know we're talking a lot about Hendrick Motorsports, but talk about a guy like Tyler Reddick today. Third place finish, finally put together a good race. Guys, first top five of the year looks strong today. Kurt Busch got his first top five for 23-11 last year. That'll do it for us here at Phoenix Raceway in Avondale, Arizona. For Jonathan Bill, I'm Dominic Aragon. We'll see you next time.